Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so happy that you've decided to click on my video and watch what I'm about to do. This video is really gonna be all about Hourglass. They had um, some new launches that I was privy to receive some items on, well, like one, but you know what I mean, you know. And I feel like I just wanted to explore Hourglass with you since I haven't, I don't think I've ever featured it on my channel. So I wanted to create this look here, which is a majority of Hourglass and also show you the new product. So if you wanna see how I got this look, also my review and opinion on some of Hourglass's products, then please stay tuned. All right, so I'm gonna start with priming my face and I'm gonna go ahead and use the Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer. I actually have um, one that I've used before I received this new one, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use my old one. This primer is described as a primer that features microspherical powders that fill and soften the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. It also minimizes the appearance of pores, which I have a whole lot of, and it visibly conceals redness. I like this primer also because it has sunscreen in it, and it has an SPF of 15, and I've recently become a sunscreen junkie because these hyperpigmentation marks are not getting deeper on me, hun. Love that this also incorporates sunscreen. So it does say to go ahead and apply half a pump, and I have used this primer multiple times, and I can say that a little does go a long way. So I am just going to apply half a pump like that, and if I need to, oh, I got a chunky piece. If I do need to apply more, then I will go ahead and do so. But for now, I'm just going to dot it all over my face. Because it does have sunscreen, it does kind of give that white cast on the skin. So yeah, you just really want to rub it out. And yes, I already did my eyes and eyebrows off camera because I really wanted to focus on um, the Hourglass products and basically my complexion. I will say for my fair queens, um, you might be able to get away with just wearing this primer on its own because it does help to like blur the skin and um, it does have sunscreen so you could kind of just use it as like a base like that. Um, Cause see, it's not, it's not that bad. It's a little casty, but it's not like, oh my God, it's a duppy. Now moving on to my foundation, I'm gonna go ahead with these Hourglass Vanish Foundation Sticks. I was sent these three shades here. So we have Chestnut, Sable, and Walnut, not in that particular order. These foundation sticks are described as long wearing, waterproof, um, provides up to 12 hours of coverage, contains double the amount of pigment, you know, versus traditional foundations, and it adjusts to your body's temperature to effortlessly blend into the skin. Honestly, guys, I've been rocking these foundation sticks ever since I've gotten them, and they're honestly the truth. Like, it just, I can't believe they're vegan. I can't believe they're like, wow. I'm just gonna swatch the three shades for you. Oh, by the way, can we just talk about Hourglass's packaging? So chic, so cute, so luxe. Oh, love it. For the shade Sable, these foundation sticks come up in a windy tube, so very convenient, very, very easy for travel. Not messy at all. So this is the shade Sable, which I already know I'm gonna use as my base. And then we have Walnut, which is right here. Sable is a little more golden and um, Walnut has more of a redder undertone. And now we have the shade Chestnut. That looks like this. And I'm probably gonna use the shade Chestnut as a contour, contour bronzer. By the way, on sephora.ca it does show that 
they do carry 32 shades in this vanish stick. I don't want to say obviously, but there is definitely room for expansion. They definitely have some options that I know my ladies, my queens of color, you know, from fair to deep can definitely work with. I'm just gonna go ahead and apply the shade Sable. And they do recommend to kind of apply it in this triangular dot stuff, but you know, I'm kind of like a stick and go girl. So I'm just gonna start from like the center of my face and kind of create, you know, a few lines, maybe a little on the forehead here. And this is a very full coverage foundation stick. So I'd rather start with a little and build up to my desired coverage. I'm just gonna go in with one of my favorite foundation brushes. This is the Sephora Collection um, foundation brush. It, it's kind of tapered, it looks like a thumb. Um, I love it because it's so easy to blend and it just works with so many formulas. This has amazing coverage. I haven't put any color corrector on any of my like acne scarring, my hyperpigmentation, and it's already basically evening out my skin tone and doing its job. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and apply a few more streaks just to um, up my coverage. Just a little here in my really problem areas. I'm not too worried um, about like my neck right now because I'm gonna go in with the deeper shade chestnut and kind of bronze around my face. So I'm really kind of just working on building that coverage on or in the main areas of my face. Okay, so I have my base on and now I'm gonna go in with the shade Chestnut and carve out, you know, where I need to contour and bronze up. All right, so next I'm gonna go in with the Hourglass Vanish Concealers. These were the three shades that I was sent. So these concealers are described as a crease resistant, light reflecting liquid concealer that blends seamlessly into the skin and diffuses the look of pores, fine lines. Um, it's very highly pigmented and it even skin tone, conceals dark circles, blemishes, and other imperfections for a smooth, natural, and airbrushed finish. So yeah, we're here for that. I've honestly been using these concealers as well and they are bomb.com. They blend like a dream, which you'll see. All right, so the first shade I'm going to swatch for you guys is Maple. And I love this wand that it comes with. Very precise, wide enough to get where it needs to go. So this is the shade Maple. Definitely on the more golden yellow side. Next we have the shade Umber. By the way, look at the packaging, how pretty. So this is the shade Umber. Honestly, sometimes I don't even know my undertones. Like, you caught me. I'd be like, yeah, that's cool. That's warm, that's neutral. I don't know. Sometimes it's just like a whole bunch of shades that I can't keep up with. Last, I have the shade Teak. And this is definitely more on the neutral side. I think I know that, or maybe I read it off of the site, but this would be considered um, more neutral. I'm torn between maple and teak because teak for sure, because it's very natural and I've used it multiple times and I know it works well. And maple, I've used it a bit, but it is kind of bright. And I don't know if I want like such an extreme look. And then Umber, I had more use for like a color correcting concealer. Um, I feel like my dark circles or the ones that, you, you know, my under eyes aren't looking too bad, so I don't think I need 
I need that. I'm just gonna go in with the shade Teak. And if I wanna brighten, then I'll just go ahead and add a little, a little maple to the mix. But I'm just gonna go ahead and be safe, okay? Just take in how flawless this concealer is, how seamless it is. Just all my worries, all my concerns have just been blurred away. So while everything is still hot and popping, I'm gonna go ahead with the Vanish Stick in the shade Chestnut to bronze and really warm up my face. love the shape of this stick because it really allows you to get all the angles even though I really didn't mean to snatch up my nose like this but we're gonna see how it looks honey okay now I'm just blending that all up it's just melting like butter just blending in like butter It really feels like you can't make a mistake with this formula, like the way it just blends so effortlessly. It's wild. Next up, I'm gonna go ahead and set my face with the Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder. This powder is described as a finely milled weightless powder um, which is formulated with soft focus light reflecting particles that blur the look of imperfections and minimizes the appearance of pores which i need fine lines wrinkles for effortlessly effortless blah, 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 for effortlessly smooth skin yeah no cap no lie hands down one of my favorite powders not only is the packaging to die for like we're talking luxury, vegan, vegan luxury. We're talking vegan luxury, but it is, look, you didn't even see that because it's just so finely milled. I'm just gonna go ahead with my damp beauty blender. Oh, my camera's shaking. And I'm just gonna go into the dish and just dab like so. Get some product there. And I'm gonna lightly just press that under my eye to really just set it in place. I'm not a huge baker. I wouldn't consider myself a baker. For those of you who don't know, baking is when you use powder to set your makeup and let it sit there for a little while and that really kind of helps secure your makeup and hold it throughout the day. Me personally, sometimes due to like setting powder shades, it's like too, too white, too light to bake on my face because it will literally stay looking like this, you know? So I kind of just lightly press it into my skin and then dust it off, which is what I'm about to do. So I'm just dusting that off. And you can really see the light reflecting particles of the powder that it was talking about. But again, it's not too harsh and because I'm not baking for too long, 
it's not giving me that like ashy ghost effect like it's really blending out because it's so finely milled basically my base complexion is complete i'm gonna go ahead off camera and just add my blush my bottom eye makeup mascara lips and a highlight and then i'll be back to showcase um hourglass's latest one of their latest launches that i'm really excited to share with you guys all right so i have my completed look right here i've gone ahead and added bottom eye makeup um, lipstick blush and a little bit of highlight and now i am ready to finish off the look their new veil soft focus setting spray which guys is so 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 good again it's like a luxury in a bottle not only luxury vegan luxury like I, I still can't get over it like this is really out here just being so cute so chic and vegan this setting spray is described as a weightless spray that sets makeup while blurring the look of imperfections we just love the blur we love the blur hourglass um, undetect undetectable undetectable on the skin it's ultra fine, it's a hydrating mist that creates a visibly smooth, even, and naturally radiant appearance. It's also water resistant and it enhances foundation for maximum staying power um, up to 24 hours. I've definitely been using this setting spray just with different looks, trying it out with the radiance and seeing how I feel about it, especially because I have more of oily skin. Sometimes I am hesitant to try out hydrating, radiant things, but recently I have I feel like I've got my technique down. I'll definitely make a video on that. This spray is amazing. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a shake. I'm gonna see if you guys can even see this mist here. I don't know if you saw that, but it is foin. It is foin. We're gonna go ahead and set my face. Let's put up the brightness. I did not even feel that. It's crazy. It's like, am I even spraying my face? or what <laughs> I definitely inhaled that though well guys this is my finished look using a majority of hourglasses complexion products trying out their new setting spray well not trying it out basically showing you guys how it works how this all looks and how all of this came together I had so much fun filming this look. I love the way it turned out. It's super chic, super elegant, super luxe, and it's serving hourglass vegan luxury realness right now. So I'm all here for it, and I hope you guys were too. If you liked this video, please show me by liking the video, commenting, and most importantly, subscribing. And if you want, go ahead and hit that bell notification thing so you don't miss a post and we can always stay connected until next time i pray that you guys are staying safe and most importantly staying positive during this quarantine time um i know it's 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 been crazy but we're gonna get through it and we're gonna get through it together you just got to continue raising your vibrations higher and higher so i pray everyone is doing well and just reaching out to their loved ones and doing things that they enjoy, and I hope I helped to kill some time um, and liven up your day with this video. Until next time, much love.